Focus IP software. First, we're going to open the program. You'll click on the blue icon. By default, it will automatically log you in. This is what the home page will look like. First, you want to select all servers here, IP server. This is the IP address of our server. And we're going to add some cameras. So first, you select the IP server you want. Click Administration and go to Setup and Configuration. And now you have to select the IP server you want to add the cameras to, as in here. And you're going to get a bunch of tabs. This is all the information you're going to need about your server. The server name, we can name this, you know, Velux. You have the IP address of the server and the version of the software that we are running. Video storage is where all the recorded video is going to go. By default, it's C video. You can change the path here if you want to. Make sure you click apply if you make a change. So now we're going to go to cameras, which is we're going to auto discover cameras. Depending on how many cameras you have, this could take a couple of seconds or up to a couple of minutes. First, you want to select the network card. This is if you have a server with multiple network cards. You need to put the username, some cameras it's admin, and the password is also going to be admin. And you hit start. Here we have a two camera setup. Okay, auto discovery is complete. Now you go click the box to the left of them to put a check mark in the two cameras you want to add. Then you click OK. Now they show up here in your cameras to be monitored. Okay, and then the next tab you have is the advanced tab. This is uh, the server options. En enable motion log, system log, you can turn on security log. Designate server as a failover server. This is if you have two servers, you want to set one as a failsafe. You can allow, you can set it to allow only one person to log in per user. And then you have video options. Low CPU, high bandwidth, high CPU, low bandwidth. The default is always low CPU, high bandwidth. And you have health monitor. Health monitor by default is always on. Monitors the overall status of your server. Of course, again, it's the server name. And to check it every one minute. The client side. This, if you want, this is where clients will go to access the server remotely. The default data port is 50100. Default command port is 50110. You can change this if you want, but make sure you write down what ports you set it up to. You can also send it to send a test email to people. Access and configuration, this by default is always left off. It is always left up to your network administrator. Contact information, normally going to be the, the company that put it in would be down right here. So for example, you know, contact would be myself, Dane, the phone number, and then click apply. Okay, so now your cameras, you'll go to expand the tree. There's the two cameras that we added. So we're going to go to the four camera layout, and there's our two cameras. I will give you the information at the top of the window, the brand of the camera, the IP address, and then the model number. Okay. Double click the camera to bring it full screen. Double click it again to go back to second screen. Now, one thing the software does let you do is if you want to see the same picture over and over, you can okay, you will select the four camera layout, four camera, and you will drag the first camera here, second camera here, and if you want to copy one, you can drag another copy the same image view, being viewed twice. And this is and this is concludes the training on how to add cameras in the Velux IP software.